Hi, I'm Stuart from SAP Networks. Welcome to the next job. Let's go and see what it's all about. Right, okay, so we've got this vented ply cheek to clad. And as you can see, I've already got the step flushing in there. The flushing's already pinned up against the soakers. So that's all ready to go. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get all the messy stuff done. I'm just gonna cut all my chasers out now. So I've just put a series of marks on the brickwork so I know how far to chase out. So we get all those joints chased out ready for the step flashing. And what I'm gonna do is then let's get a ban off these slates. I can fix my copper in. So let's get that done first and go from there. All right, okay, so that's all those joints all chased out now. As you can see, I've got my got my copper in place now. I've also got some grey day building paper on. And I've also just set out where my welts are gonna go as well. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna get this bit of vertical step in first. And I'm actually gonna split that into two, even though it is less than 1.5 meters because it's gonna be fixed in every single wedge, just to be safer than sorry. I'm just gonna split that into two pieces and then we're gonna have a welt just coming down this edge here. So we get that bit in first, and then we can just do the cheeks, the, the cladded cheeks after. Okay, so I'm just marking up this bit of vertical at the moment. So I've just cut it to the angle of the roof at the bottom there. And I've just measured out how far I need to come out so it joins in with the saddle underneath, which is already vertically stepped. In this case, it was 210 mil. Then what I've done then, so I've put a 75 mil water line and then just literally get a little level and just mark the top of the brick on each joint and then when I take this down to the bench in a minute when I cut it what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut in from that point there all the way down to that point there and then I'll just leave a 25 mil fold line there so it goes into the joint so we get that one knocked up then we can do the top bit. Okay, so that's that vertical step all in there now. So now we've done that, what we can do now is start getting this cladding on. So what I've done is I've just got a build, piece of building paper. I've just drawn out which way around the cheek's going. So I know that I need an inch in down that line there. That's 1,200. And then an inch in down that line there or 725. So I've just drawn that on my building paper, then I know I need to allow another, well, I've got 30 mil full of fold, but actually I'm gonna to need to trim that one down to 25. So I'm just gonna go down to the bench now and make that up. Right, okay, so let's get this one knocked up. Right, so I know I need inch in Inching on this side, I need seven two five. Seven two five. Scribe an inch down there. Just double check that. Seven two five. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to join up those two points. Just going to lightly scribe that. Now I need to add on 25 mil for my fold. Mm. 
Vale. Okay, so we can cut that off. Got some left-handed snips I can use for that. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take, I think I'm going to take off about, just take off 10 mil off the top because I measured that tight and because it's a vented cheek, I've got to allow for airflow. So I've just got to be a slight gap at the top. So I'm going to, actually I'm going to take 15 mil off. Don't want to block that off. oil in there. No, where's my square gone? I've got a feeling. Yep, I think I've left it out there. So let's see if we can do, get away with not using it. And just turn this 25 mil up on this front edge. Oil on that. Right, 
let's just dress this. Flip that over again. You just need to knock up this last edge now. get some patination oil straight on that as well now before I take it outside because it's, it's a little bit damp out there. Okay, and that is now ready to go in. Right, okay, so let's see what this one fits like then. These are always a little bit tricky on your own. Let's see how we get on. You know, right, let's get that fixed in there then. I'm just going to turn this, this edge over the copper now. I just need to put some copper in that well as well now. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to notch it out a little bit so that when you set the next one in, you don't see the copper. Just by a few, just by a few mil. Oh no! <laughs> oh well, that got me. That's 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 just my luck. That is. <laughs> Luckily, I think. <laughs> <laughs> the run of the ladders saved, saved, saved a lot of them. Oh, oh man, what are the chances? Right, I'll have to go down and pick them up in a minute. But I can just get this fixed in place first. I think I'll move them out of the way. 
<laughs> how many times does that happen to you it's, it must have happened to you as well come on right i will i will get i will get all of them don't worry don't waste anything Another one lower down. I've got enough nails. <laughs> well, I can't believe I've done that. I'm well, well gutted. All right. Bouncy. Try again. Gotcha. Okay. That's that one done. So all I'm going to do now is repeat exactly the same process for the second and the third one. Get all those in. Then we can look at the next step. Okay, so that's all those cheeks nailed in place now. So now that's done. What I'm gonna do next is get this head flashing on. As you can see, I've already now some clips in place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a bit of 150. I'm gonna bend 50 mil on it and I'm gonna nail it to this top edge and then just fold the lead back down on itself to cover all the fixings, making sure I keep keep that gap there for the airflow. So it's gonna go down now, get that knocked up and get that fixed in place. Okay, so that's that head flashing all in place now. I've also just pointed in all that vertical step. I've just given it all another coat of oil as well. So that is job done. So I hope you like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can check me out on Instagram at SAB Leadworks. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hopefully catch you in the next. Cheers.